Representative Colmenares, may we now call on Representative Carlos Isaga Isarate to approach the podium and commence his presentation. May it please the Honorable Court. I will argue, Your Honors, on the issues pertaining to the jurisdictional requirements as well as the reliefs paid for by the petitioners in the filing of the instant consolidated cases. Your Honors, these consolidated petitions filed by Bayan Muna et al. and Nasekor et al. have a common trust, both assailed the decision of Respondent Energy Regulatory Commission in approving post-haste on December 9, 2013, the applied rate increase of Respondent Miralco. This rate increase is unprecedented and probably the highest since the IPIRA was passed into law in 2001. It is our submission, Your Honors, that Respondent ERC committed grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or an excess of jurisdiction when it immediately approved without a hearing and investigation the 4 pesos and 15 centavos rate hike increase imposed by Respondent Miralco, even under questionable circumstances like the imposition of the highest ever generation charge by the generation companies, the occurrence of simultaneous shutdowns of several power plants, and the role of Respondent Miralco in the placement of the highest bids for its contracted capacity in the West End. As, well, already, as was as already argued by my other colleagues, Your Honors, these highly irregular and questionable acts of Respondent ERC, as well as the Respondent's power industry players, stem from the fact that under the IPIRA law, the generation and supply sectors are no longer considered public utilities, and thus the charges they will impose are no longer subject to regulation by the state. We submit that these provisions, Section 6 and Section 29 of the IPIRA, are constitutionally infirm and must be struck down. In other words, Your Honors, we invoke this Honorable Court's power to struck down laws and regulations as inconsistent with the 1987 Constitution. We further invoke this Court's expanded power of judicial review under Section 1, Article 8 of the 1987 Constitution that is to determine whether or not there has been grave abuse of this question amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction on the part of any branch or instrumentality of the government. Is the petition for certiorari under Rule 65 of the Rules of Court a proper remedy to question the acts of ERC and the other respondents? We submit that the answer is in the affirmative, Your Honors. Rule 65 is the proper remedy in this case because what is complained of is not merely the commissions of errors of judgment in the determination of facts and the application of the law, but patent and blatant grave abuse of discretion in the issuance of an order in a manner that is violative of the basic right to due process of the affected parties. Respondent ERC in this case acted in a manner that well exceeded its authority and discretion that already amounts to a lack of jurisdiction. The petitioners in these consolidated cases could not have applied Rule 43 for a petition for review as a remedy because they or the parties represented by them were denied the opportunity to participate in the proceedings before the ERC. Thus, technically, they were not parties in the proceedings before the ERC. We also submit, Your Honors, that Rule 43 is not an adequate remedy in this case, also because of the urgent need for a final disposition of the issues in the shortest time possible, considering that the final decision in this case will directly affect the millions of people who are reliant upon Respondent Meralco for electricity, which, especially in relation to the marginalized sector, is a basic necessity for their survival. These petitions we submit were properly filed with the Supreme Court, first, by reason of the urgency of the resolution of the issues and the direct effect upon the millions of Meralco consumers, which at the very least amounts to special and important considerations warranting the direct invocation of the jurisdiction of the highest court. 
also your honor, and most importantly, among the basic issues raised in this petition is a pure question of law as to the constitutionality of Section 6 and 29, as well as the amendment of the rules of the ERC in a manner that is claimed to have authorized the issuance of the question resolution, despite the deprivation of the basic right of the millions of affected parties to participate in the process. The petitioners believe that the direct and urgent resort to the highest court of the land is also warranted considering, first, the breadth of the authority of the ERC to regulate the power, power industry in the entire country. Second, Meralco's franchise encompasses a wide area covering at least four regions and affecting nearly five million consumers. And third, the amount passed on to the consumers over four months in a, is at least 25.64 billion pesos, translating to an additional generation charge of 7.67 kilowatt per hour for each household only in December. As ruled by this honorable court, a direct invocation of the Supreme Court's original jurisdiction to issue these rates should be allowed only when there are special and important reasons, therefore, clearly and specifically set out in the petition. We submit that it complied with the said requirement. These consolidated cases are not anchored on conjectures, Your Honor, since the power rate hike that takes effect from the December billing and until March next year is an existing case or controversy appropriate or right for the court's determination. As already argued by my colleagues, a ruling on the constitutionality of OPIRA provisions is indispensable to the resolution of the controversy. This case cannot be fully disposed of on the ground other than the constitutionality of the assailed provisions. We submit, Your Honors, that we cannot take into isolation the effects of these constitutionally infirm provisions of the IPIRA, and this is in fact the very crux of the matter. These problems that the millions of Baralco customers are facing is driven by the fact that prices imposed by generation companies and suppliers of electricity are not subject to regulation by the state. The so-called post-verification power of rate hike applications may absent the participation of the public and is even conducted in the seclusion of the ERC. On the TRO, Your Honors, we submit, Your Honors, that the TRO already issued by the Honorable Court should be preserved until such time that the instant consolidated cases are finally resolved by the Honorable Court. As the approval of the staggered rate hike is already in full force and effect, petitioners in the entire captive market of Moralco are already suffering grave, grave and irreparable injury, and unless the implementation of the rate hike is enjoined and further enjoined, it will continue to suffer grave and irreparable injury. The record high increase in electricity rate is not only unjust, but a continuing injury to the consumers, especially as the same was suddenly sprung on them. We, the consumers, are electrocuted, so to speak, with a sudden spike in the prices of electricity without even a minute hint of warning. We submit, Your Honors, that the previous TRO should not only be maintained, but must also be completed by an order from this Honorable Court temporarily restraining, including the generation companies, from collecting the generation charge pending the resolution of this petition. Your Honors, the circumstances we have enumerated and argued we submit have properly shown that the imposition of this unprecedented rate hike were attended by grave abuse of discretion by respondent ERC. These circumstances we submit, Your Honors, aptly entitled the petitioners to the reliefs prayed for. The hapless Meralco consumers should no longer be burdened by this unjust generation charge now and even in the future. We submit, Your Honors, that instead of protecting public interest, the so-called provisions of law reforming the power industry even made the government simply inutile in, reg in regulating the oligopolistic desire of power companies to amass more profits even under questionable circumstances. But, Your Honors, the hapless consumers we submit are not powerless at all because they believe that they can run to the soccer of this honorable court to grant them the prayed reliefs. 
We humbly submit, Your Honors. Thank you. Thank you.